I have to say, I've been really bad at watching the clock lately. Granted, um, it shouldn't be that big of an issue because of the fact that, uh, I don't know why I still have invincible powers. Not that I'm going to complain. Um, but, not that, it, sh it shouldn't be that big of an issue because, again, I start a little bit into the time anyway, so I shouldn't have that much problem with it. Um, but, uh, I do, um, want to be more careful. Okay, there was... Ah, don't glitch me again! Damn it. I hate it when it does this. And, like, the way he'd echo moves, it's hard to get out of a glitch without, like, just pushing random buttons. Um... Put the map up for whatever reason. Yeah, there's definitely a thing up there, because you can see where the... And I already showed you there was a... Oh, come on! I'm so close to finishing this level. Just let me move. Come on. This is this is this is what pisses me off when stuff like this happens. You shouldn't be causing me to glitch. And and this is definitely this shouldn't be happening. I shouldn't be stuck. Oh my god. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna try using my GameCube controller, see if doing the analog stick is gonna do anything at all. Probably not. Okay, press the power up button. No, nothing. Nothing. This is stupid. This is really, really stupid. I hate when things like this happen. Because I don't think there's any... Unless I get lucky with getting out of here. I don't think there's any way... Yeah, I'm gonna die. So this, this is what I mean. This is... This is... Really, really, really... Crappy. Not that it was that hard to, it won't, not like it will be that hard to get back there, but the fact that that even happens, that shouldn't be happening. It's one of those, you know, that, that, if there's one thing out of everything about this game I want to change, be to fix the glitches, to make, to stop it, uh, it from doing things like that. Because I don't, I, it shouldn't be doing those things, it shouldn't be getting me stuck on walls. That's, that's really... I got, you can't be, I got killed by, I was invincible, but I got killed by getting squished by a knowledge shell. That, that's just embarrassing, because they're not even that big. Like, unlike the ice balls, which are huge and kind of hard to avoid, these things are really small. Getting killed by them is kind of embarrassing. Uh, did I want to, yeah. Okay, let's go fast. I, through here. Yeah, I wasn't even really even trying in the past to get past those. I just happened to do it. Because, again, they're not that hard. Well, I mean, they are hard, but they're not that hard to get past, rather. Because, again, they're so small. Okay, grab the invincibility. I want to go to the left and up. That's, that's really kind of mean that does that. Okay, and I want to... There's definitely something... There's definitely a secret passage, remember? I, I saw it, so... Okay, here it is. Oh, I guess I gotta fight it? What? I had to... Okay, I had to fight it. How? I have no idea, but I do have to fight it, it seems. How are you supposed to fight that thing? And why am I fighting? I guess that's why he's pissed at me, or why he remembers me, is because I beat him up. But he sent me back there, so... And he basically already said that in the dialogue, but, um, we'll find out more, because I'm assuming that thing plays an important role in everything. That, uh... I think it was Asterite. I think it was Asterite. I called it something else. I think it's Asterite, though, with an S. I could be wrong, though. I could actually be... No, because I think I called it an Amorite, and it wasn't an Amorite. It was an Asterite. Because at the time, I thought he was talking like a little... One of the little trilobite type things. And nope, it was this gigantic ball thing. Ball monster. Okay, no, you're not glitching me. Uh, can I get there with the invincibility still on? I doubt it, but we can try. If I go fast enough. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to fight that thing. Ah, damn it, I messed up. If I want to even get there in time, I have to go faster than that. Gotta go fast as lightning. Nah, I'm not gonna... Whatever, let's, uh... That, this is definitely a boss where having that uh, ability to... to not have to fight him like this would be awesome. Uh, what's over here? Nothing? Nope. How am I supposed to fight this thing? He's not attacking me at the moment. Yeah, with lightning. How the... 
I don't even know if there's a certain ball I have to hit, or what I have to do to kill that thing. Um, uh, I'm gonna say right now because I have no idea how to kill him, and maybe I just have to attack every single ball, which again would make it a lot easier with the attack power. Uh, but either way, um, I'm going to, if I can't beat it in this video, I will look it up, how to kill that thing. Only because, or I guess I could have someone tell me, but I guess I'll look it up only because the video will probably be more helpful than, well, I guess you guys can tell me as well as, yeah, you guys can tell me and if no one gives me a clear answer, I'll look it up before recording again, because I, this is this week's recording, and by the time the next, is, next one's up, I'll probably be, I won't have anything recorded, more than likely. Unless I get really ambitious, and I... Eh, maybe, but I, I've got enough stuff in college to do that. I'm probably not going to have time to play with dolphins. Um, but yeah, do, I will say, if I can't beat it in this video, uh, feel free to give me a hint. And I don't know how the heck I'm going to kill it. This is why I, I do wish I would have gotten um, the attack power. I don't want to restart the entire game, though, just to get that. There, I think there's a code, possibly, I can use to get uh, to this point with the attack power. I hate to use that, though, only because it feels kind of cheap to use a code to uh, beat the game. Okay, is there... You have to... I'm almost certain I had to fight it. How? I don't know how I have to fight it. Because there's so many balls. How do you... There's like tons and tons of balls. If I have to kill every ball... Maybe I just need to kill one ball. Because he wanted me to get his missing orb, right? So maybe I just need to take one ball and throw it into Mount Doom. No, um, but one ball. Maybe that's all I need. So let's just try and get one ball from him. Uh, and just focus on attacking one of the balls. Because if I had to kill all of the balls, that would be so uh, painful to hit all those balls. I, no, I, I don't want to hit all his balls. It's not something I'm really comfortable in doing. Huh. <sighs> that, oh, that, that monster. Or, uh, yeah, he is a monster. He's, he's a ball monster. Made of tons of balls. Okay. Technically, I guess it could be a female. Or, a, I don't know, it's, just, it's a thing, really. It's not really any gender at all. I guess if you want, you can cut, make it a gender, but really... Gender only denotes cer having certain genitalia, and I don't think that thing... Well, it has balls, so there's male. Okay, so, um, enough about talking about that thing. Not that there's really anything else to talk about. I mean, it, that th I had to fight that dude. I don't know. I don't know. This game is... I, I didn't even think this game would have a plot, and actually, I will admit, it's kind of in intriguing me. I am curious in into knowing what that thing is. Oh, I didn't get. I didn't get that. It almost. I think that almost extended my. Um, maybe not. I th it feels like it. Oh, it feels like it extended my um, invincibility somehow by just hitting that crystal. Which is odd because it with with my little thing it feels like it did that. Okay, let's hurry up. Maybe. I can get get one ball. That's all I need. This is going to be really difficult. I don't know how, without the attack, how I'm going to do that, unless there is a certain method that someone knows of. <laughs> unless I know exactly what I, like, there must be some sort of trick to doing that. And I, I almost feel like, yeah, there has to be just one, you couldn't make you get, wait, was, oh no, that was this, that was the one that's the trick one. I, yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to kill this. Dude, he, I, he's gonna be really hard. Um, it, it, I know it's this game is definitely possible to beat without the attack call, but I don't know. I've done a pretty good job so far, but so far I haven't had to fight any bosses. Well, that the the horse I was gonna call him a horsey, the the uh, seahorse. Uh, technically, I don't. He wasn't really a boss though. He was just a really tough enemy. 
tell me this guy isn't really... It, it's not treated like a... I mean, it, I'd say he is a boss, but he's not really treated like a boss because, um... He, there's no boss music, there's no... It's, it's just you find him and you kill him. That's it. I'm assuming you kill I mean, you attack him. It's not like you get to talk to him. It's not like you go have tea and say, like, Oh, hey, can I have your ball? No, you actually have to take his ball. And that's, I mean, that's what the purpose was, to find his missing orb. And I guess to find the one in the future's missing orb, you have to take his past orb, which is kind of odd. So, yeah, so I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. If the future one try, said to go and get the orb, right, he's the one who sent me back to take his orb. Which means that if he had never sent me back, I would never have taken his orb. Therefore, why did he send me back? Logically, that doesn't. He, he's logically he created his own taking of his ball. He's the reason my, his ball was taken. So he wouldn't even have to. If he didn't ask me, therefore I would never have went back in time. Therefore I would never have uh, taken his orb, and he would never have to have asked me to. Yeah, this is why time travel make, gives me a headache sometimes. Okay, go fast and hit that. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing. I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing. I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing. I am not gonna. If there was um, some secret passage, maybe that I can like grab invincibility, that would be really nice. If I could just you know, do like, if I could just like you know hit him with my echo, hitting him with my echo call would be so nice. I really oh, that would make this game so much easier. I think, that, I think that's something that should be said. The fact that there is a call that can give, allow you to attack enemies, and the fact that I've gotten through this game so far without using it on my first playthrough, I think that's pretty impressive thus far. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know how the heck I'm going to kill this thing without it, though. With it, I could just sit back and dodge his lightning and then attack him with my echo call. That wouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Eventually, after I got the hang of it, I could kill him. Here, I, there's so many balls. I, I can't really keep track of his balls, and I have to dodge lightning. I guess I have to just keep a calm mind about it and not, you know... It's gotta be pos It's possible. Um, but yeah, I will... I do want people... If, if anyone who has done this without the call... Uh, knows what I need to do, please tell me and give me, like, tips. I This is the first thing, and, and I doubt I'm going to be in them. I doubt it's going to be, like, the, uh, like, the secret exit from last time where I figured it out, at the, or the trick room at the last time where I figured out that you had to jump over a wall at the end. Uh, so do give me tips, because I honestly have no idea of how it would be best to take take this guy down. This, this, uh, asteroid of sorts. Um, if no one knows, I guess I'll look up a video of someone doing it without the call. I don't know, I don't, I, this, this game doesn't have that many Let's Plays on YouTube, nor do I think, I think most of them have the attack call. I don't think there's really any without the attack call. Maybe not, I don't know, I haven't watched them, but you would think that if you had the option to use an attack call, you would use it. Oh, that one gives me invincibility, too? That's kind of... Okay. I'm not going to complain. I mean, if you're going to give me invincibility, I don't mind. Uh, can this thing give me invincibility? It'd be nice. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's try attacking his purple ball at the top. Part of the problem is you can't, yeah, you can't attack him without getting hurt yourself, really. Or at least, rather, it's hard to do. Uh, I'm, I'm worried because I don't, I want to beat this game without the call because people, I've been told I was insane to even attempt it, even though I really didn't know what I was doing, and I, I honestly kind of want to attempt to do it without the call. What will end up happening? I don't know. Um, let me look at my map. Let's see if there's any other passages, maybe, to, like, get, like, a kamikaze attack that allows Echo to explode and kill him. I don't know. I highly doubt that's in this game, but it'd be pretty awesome. Exploding dolphins in space would be cool. No, don't glitch me. Don't glitch me. Don't... And I'm almost out of time, too, so I'm gonna be glitched out of... Crap. 
I hate these glitches. I hate them. I hate them so much. Well, I guess I'll unglitch myself before uh, I end, but I will be ending the recording now. So this has been... Uh, oh, wait. Come on. You almost did the Echo. You almost did it. Well, this has been Mega Freak 400, and I am reminding you that these game, this game needs to fix... This game would have been much better if I didn't have these glitches.